Yesterday we released our review on the Cooler Master NR200P Max and we answered almost all of the questions in that video and for the questions that we didn't answer in the original review, I'm going to go ahead and do that today and put your mind at ease so you can make an informed decision whether or not this is something you want to buy or whether or not you hate it or love it or whatever, it doesn't matter. I want to know what it's like with using a much bigger GPU and putting those fans at the bottom. And we're going to test it with the panels on, panels off, glass side panel, mesh, all of that jazz. Everything that we didn't do, we're doing right now. So let's get into it. First things first, can you put slim fans or any fans in the bottom of the case? Now, this is a tentative yes, but I'm gonna show you how to actually do it. The correct way of doing it, right? You know, if you don't know much about the Cooler Master NR200, well, this chassis at least, uh, you don't have to pull the GPU out to do this, right? You can remove a single screw on the bottom of the case and you can quite literally just remove the bottom of the case. So we don't need to change anything going on here. And actually, this leads me into something I wanted to talk about, cable managing the system. Now, you saw how I built it in the last video. And if you haven't seen that, it's in the top left-hand corner, it's in the description. You can see uh, like that you can cable manage it this way to make it all clean and whatnot and to plug in the riser cable and whatnot. But obviously, we didn't do that in that video. But let's find out, let's answer the question. Will they fit? Very, very straightforward. These slits in the bottom, uh, cut out for these fans. Hopefully this alone already answers your question. Now you will need to take into account there can be some interference here with the tubes and this stuff. So you will need to cable manage this a bit better, which I don't know if I'm really gonna go that far today. We're just gonna get it to work. We're gonna shove her in, give her a red hot crack. Something I wanted to add to that as well with mounting these fans. So I, I've done this on purpose just to, to show you guys what is the correct way and the incorrect way. This here is the correct way to have the cable coming out of the fan. If you have it this way, it will interfere with actually clipping back down when you put this on the bottom of the case again. So just keep that in mind. I'm only doing two screws per fan because, you know, it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this video. Moment of truth. Do they fit? Yes, regular old slim fans fit in the bottom. Something that I think is worth mentioning is this fan here, it appears that you could probably, depending on the GPU as well, put a regular height fan in here. So, you know, if you want to stagger them and make them different, I. I reckon you probably could get away with it, but again, recommend using slim fans on the bottom. And yes, they fit with no issues whatsoever. The next question we got was, can you add a third PCIe power cable? Yes, see right there? There is an open connector for a third PCIe power cable if that's what you wanna do with your GPU. The other part of that question is, does it come with the case? The answer is no, it doesn't. So. You'll have to find that separately. However, uh, you might be able to buy a kit from Cable Mod like I have done with these power supplies in the past. We can just order three anyway. The next question was, if something fails in this case, like the AIO or the power supply, can I use any other AIO or power supply to replace them? The answer is a simple yes. There is nothing proprietary about this case at all. It's a regular SFX power supply and it's a regular 280 millimeter AIO. Simple as that. The next question is, will other colors or the blue panels specifically fit on the NR200P Max? Well, ladies and gents, let's find out together. Right, and the answer is a tentative yes, but let's just show you, All right? This is what I like about the NR200, right? Look, blue top, Can it fit, Claire? Can it? Do we have the world's first blue NR200P Max? The first blue NR200P Max in the world? I think we do. 
<laughs> Get in there, mate. That is the real question. Does it fit? I mean, other than that clip popping out. <laughs> That's my fault, don't worry. Let's try that again. Does it fit? Yes. Look at that. A blue NR200B Max. It does fit, no problems whatsoever. The panels are all exactly the same. They haven't changed any tooling for the outside. Look, power button works, everything works, right? It's exactly the same. Nothing has changed tooling wise. They've just made a new color, which is kind of like that Audi Nardo gray color, a bit darker than Nardo gray, but yeah. I mean, if you're gonna buy an Audi in Nardo gray, just buy Florette Silver, right? <laughs> and if you want to be an absolute baller, right, you can change the panels to be different colors for every side if you really wanted to. I have all of the other colors. I might actually do that as a build now, Claire. That's a good idea. Every panel a different color. We can do that. We've got every color. Like I could do a white floor like blue top, orange side, purple side, you know, whatever we want. But yeah, if you want to be a real baller, look at that, every color. You can just do whatever you like. Oh, kind of like that, eh? The next question we got is, can you test the NR200P Max with fans on the bottom with a much bigger GPU, not a blower, and without fans on the bottom? Well, yes, I can, but you'll have to stick around to see all the thermals for that so we can actually find out. We're not quite there yet, but yes, we are going to be doing that with this big old 3080. It's the only one I've got available right now. So it's gonna have to do. We've done a stack of GPU fitment videos in the NR200 already, but the question was, can you put a much bigger GPU in it and test it? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Although I've, I've half answered this already, I might as well just show you how easy this thing is to work with. We'll unplug that. And rise a cable in and look at that. That is so much bigger. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. That actually looks ridiculous. <laughs> that is, that actually looks insane. <laughs> he fills it out all the way. I love that. I actually kind of love that. Not gonna lie. That looks crazy. Look how, look how fat and chunky it is in there, Claire. It just takes up all of the space in there. That's amazing. I kind of love it. Not gonna lie. That looks awesome. It just stands out. Look at it. Biggest of the boys. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the thermals. These are the thermals from the original build that we saw yesterday. So there's nothing different here from the original review video, except it's now called Turbo Edition, not Turbo Edition. But if we take a look at this exact same build with those slim Noctua fans on the bottom, what you're seeing here is that the overall temperatures have come down, especially with the TG panel for the CPU and also for the GPU as well. Now, if we do a quick comparison, just to show you the difference between those two, disregarding the CPU, because I was more curious about the GPU, you can see here that again, with the TG panel on with no bottom fans, there is a massive difference in temperature. Otherwise, there isn't that much of a difference in temperature with those bottom fans for a blower card. Now here's the build again with no bottom fans at all with an RTX 3080 Gundam edition. And you'll notice that the CPU temperatures are considerably higher. That's because this GPU in particular is quite large and it does block a little bit of the intake for the CPU. And you'll also notice that with the TG panel on, no surprises here that the GPU absolutely cooks. However, it is acceptable to run your GPU at that temperature, but not always ideal. Let's take a look at that again, but now with the bottom fans, those Noctua fans installed in the bottom, you can see that overall the temperatures have come down, including the temperature with the TG panel on for the GPU and the TG panel on for the CPU. So everything on average has come down. 
Here's what it looks like if we compare the GPU with the fans and without the fans directly. You can see that on average, the temperatures are lower, except for that closed panel temperature. I don't think there's much difference with having that panel on and off, and that's within a margin of error. But you'll notice that the TG panel temperature is five degrees lower, and that is actually quite a bit cooler. All right, ladies and gents, I hope I answered some of your questions about the Cooler Master NR200P Max. The thermal observations were actually pretty interesting, to be honest. Uh, the bottom fans actually ended up helping quite a bit. So there you go. Uh, if you haven't seen the original review video, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out at your own leisure. I'll probably pin it as a comment as well if you want to go and watch that. Also, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available over on our Patreon. And if you want to get early access to videos like this one right here, you can check us out on Floatplane as well. That's it. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And yeah, I, I kind of want to do the multicolored build now with every panel being completely different. What do you reckon, Claire? Should we do it? Yeah, why not? Just like the united colors of Benetton. I don't know. Is that a thing? I feel old. People have probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But yes, thank you for watching and I forgot how to end videos.